Hey there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha, and in this video, let's just understand how break and continue work when it's a nested loop. So we all know we have learned nested loops in previous video. We know that I can create a nested loop. So I can say range one comma say four. So this loop runs three times, and within that, for example. If I say I in range of one comma four, again this runs three times, and suppose I just print the value of i and j, and if I run this program, you would see it just prints the value of i for i equals to one. The j loop runs three times, one two three. For i is two, j loop runs three times, one two three. I is three again. J loop runs three times. One two three. Now supposedly, if I say if I equal to equal to J, okay. So for the values when I and J are equal, you can see I and J is equal here. I and J is equal here. I and J is equal here. So when they are equal, I want to break. Now, before I run this program, just think, take a pause, and tell me, according to you, what will be the output. And now, if I run this program, you will see it prints. So you can see for i equal to one and j equal to one because this is equal, it immediately breaks. Remember, remember, break or continue works. Only for the immediate loop where it is declared. So it is declared inside this for loop. So when I say break, it will only break the loop in which it is defined. It will not break the outer loop. So when i and j are equal, it breaks the inner loop. That is the j loop. Then when i becomes two, it prints to one, but for two two it again breaks, and then when i equals to three, it prints three one three two, but it breaks for when i and j are equal. Now let me just change this, and if I say continue, take a pause over here. Tell me what do you think will be the output? Remember continue will also work only for the loop where it is declared. So if I run this program, whenever i and j are equal, it will skip for that value of j. Did you get the output? Were you able to identify? So you would see for one one, two two, and three three, it just skips. It doesn't comes out of the inner loop, and it prints prints the rest of the values one two one three. You can see two one two three and three one three two. So it's very important to understand how the break and continue works when you have nested loops. Let's just see a simple program using the nested loop and say, for example, break. So I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to take a number as input from the user. And I, what I want to do over here is, um, see if. Digits are repeated in the number. Okay, so for example, if the number is two, three, five, three, this the digits are repeated. If the number is six, seven, two, three, digits are not repeated. So I'll just have a variable t, and I'll store the number, and I'll again say while your t greater than Zero. So what I want to do, I want to find digits. So we have seen a program in the previous videos to get the digits from a number. So while my t is greater than zero, I will get the first number. So I'll say t mod ten. So this will give me what? Suppose the number is two three five three. It gives it gives me three. Now I got the digit. I want to check if three. Exist in the remaining digits, so I will get the remaining digits. So I can say t divided by ten. Now, in the remaining digits, again I will write 
while r greater than 0 i'll say if r mod 10 right so what is r when i said t divided by divided by 10 r will be 2 3 5 so greater than 0 yes r mod 10 will give me 5 is it equal to d if true i want to stop the loop right so i say break and i can also say the digits are repeated okay if not then again i have to divide this number by 10 so i continue so here 235 r greater than 0 r mod 10 is 5 equal to equal to 3 no now my digit r becomes 23 greater than 0 23 mod 10 3 equal to 3 yes digits are repeated and it breaks okay if in case the number was 6, 7, 2, 3 or if I say the number was 2, 3, 5, 3, 1. Okay. So, here then it will be 1. It will be 2, 3, 5, 3. So, for 1, the digits are not repeated. It will never go in if my R equals to R by 10. It continues. Now, when this loop completes, 1 doesn't exist in the number. Now, what do I have to do? I have to then iterate and check for the remaining digits. So, I want to get 3. Right. So, then I will say t equals to t divided by 10. This will give me what? My t is 23531. Give me 2353. Greater than 0? Yes. It comes inside. Now, my d becomes what? 3. And then it again starts. Now, my r is 235. And r greater than 0, it again checks. If the digits are repeated, it prints. Digits are repeated. So, for 3... It should print digits are repeated and break the loop. Let's just see what happens. Enter a number 23531. You can see it prints the digits are repeated. Fine. Now say for example I say 23531. Suppose I run again. I'll erase this. And now say for example I run it again. And this time, I enter a number 235312. Okay. See, it prints twice, digits are repeated. Whereas, first time only if it gets a digit is repeated, it should print the digits are repeated and the whole loop stop sh should stop, right? What happened? Because I said break over here, it just breaks the inner loop, but outer loop still continues to solve this what i can do is i can have a flag which i initialize it to false okay so or i can say is repeated is false and if the digits are repeated i will make this as true and i'll check here if is repeated which it becomes true I'll break, so I will break the outer loop. And then, here I can say else print so if my outer loop doesn't break even once, it continues the loop. That means digits are not repeated. So, let's check. 2, 3, 5, 3, 1, 2. Repeat it, it stops. If I run it again, 2, 3, 5, 8, 7, 6. Digits are not repeated. So it's very important to understand how the break works and the else clause as well. So that's all for this video which focuses on understanding how break and continue works in the nested loop. Next video, we are going to have a look at what are functions in Python. Till then, happy learning, take care and bye-bye.